Okay. All right, so I think we're live. Um, hopefully someone can hop on and let me know how my sound sounds. So I've been having to do, I'm gonna try out this StreamYard because I did go live with Louisa and it sounded perfect. Hey, Gabby. Gabby, how does it sound? Can you let me know how the sound is? Oh, yay. So I went on live with Louisa. If you guys missed that live, please go check out her channel. Um, and my sound sounded great. I've been having issues with YouTube, as you guys know. I've been feeling so bad that I haven't even wanted. Thank you, Gabby. I haven't even wanted to come on live anymore and do any more videos. So thank you, Louisa, for having me live to see that I can get on StreamYard. Hey, Cruz, what's going on, guys? So I don't know. I really don't like StreamYard, but I'm going to, um, you know, bite the bullet or whatever. And I'm going to go ahead and do this so I can get some videos out to you guys because I've been feeling terrible from all the comments I've been getting about the sound and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys. Does it say how many people are in here? Let me see. This thing is so weird. Okay, there's three people. Hey, everyone who's watching. So, today's video, I'm going to be sharing a tutorial on how to make some cupcake bangles. All right? So, what you're going to need for this tutorial are your bubblegum beads and your hishi beads. So, I got my hishi beads here. And you actually want to use like some bigger. Hi, Veronica. Guys, bear with me because I'm trying to get used to this whole StreamYard thing. It looks weird on my end. Um, so we're going to be making these cupcake dangles. Look at how cute they are, guys. Look at this. Isn't that adorable? How cute is that? So I was making that dangle, the Mickey Mouse dangle, and I had put this together with something else and it looked like a cupcake. And I was like, oh shit, let me make a cupcake. Hey Ray, what's going on? I'm like, let me try it with my Heishi beads. And I think it looks so cute. Do you guys think it looks like a cupcake? What's everyone up to? God, it's so weird doing the stream yard. Isn't it adorable? So I'm going to show you guys how to make these super self-explanatory. You're going to need your heishi beads. Now, I find that the bigger heishi beads, um, I think that these are like 7 millimeter. They work best for your base. Okay, so this is a super easy tutorial. Um, you just take your pin. And actually, let me... Yeah, let's just do this one with this. No, I want to make this one with the little dangle on the bottom nice where you been at my a girl i hope everything's all good with you so i'm gonna grab an eye pin okay and i'm gonna layer my hishi beads okay so like i said these bigger ones work better i'm gonna have to put a bead under here because it's gonna fall right through so let me just put a small one like this and then you just layer your heishi beads okay so i do about three i think or four. Oh my god elijah three and one more four okay so you grab your heishi beads like this and what i did was I took a white paint marker. Go lay down right now. No, go lay down. Bedtime. Sorry, guys. He literally has only been sleeping for not even an hour. You gotta go to bed. So take your paint pen, paint marker. And let me make sure I got my ink flowing on here. Can you guys see okay? Let me know. Okay. 
I really want to use my Posca pen, but I don't see it. Oh, here it goes. So if you guys have those gold metallic markers, this will work really well. And you can actually use this with your Hishi beads on your plain ones to make them look like this. See how some of them are like this? They're multicolored. Sorry for the little hairs everywhere. Um, you can get that effect by doing this, guys. So I'm holding it tight. Hi, Clarissa. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stripe it, okay? Just like that. It's okay if they turn a little, whatever. Try to keep them together. Because I want to get that, um, you know, like cupcake liner effect. So just like that. And let that dry. And then you're simply going to take one of your bubble gum beads. Which are these beads here. Okay. And you just feed it on top. And then you're going to do your cherry on top, which is a smaller. I think the hot pink ones look the best. But you guys can use any color you want. I know it's like, why are you even doing this tutorial? So simple, self-explanatory, but, you know, some of us are visual learners. So I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to go ahead and feed my little cherry on top like that. And there is your little cupcake. So we're going to go ahead and close that. The streamer feels so weird, guys. By turning it to the side. You guys already know how to do this. We've done this tons of time. Tons of times. Make sure that you hold this down because sometimes you want to get a tight fit. So bend it back over and we're gonna wrap this. You can even do a simple tuck in how I showed you guys before, but since I have the, the extra wire on this longer one, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it. Okay. Let's see if I can get one more. All right, now let me clip that. You guys are so quiet. Can you do moderated things still, Gabby and Cruz? Let me know. Because I don't see. It doesn't show like anyone being a moderator or anything on my end. Okay, and I'm going to fix this. And there goes your little cupcake. Your little cupcake bead. All right, so I can dangle this from the top and the bottom. That's why I use the eye pin. Let's do another one with a head pin. So if you guys don't have Hishi beads, you can use, um, you can try to use those little square ones. You just have to have a good balance. So if you don't have the he should be like, okay, I have a lot of smaller ones. Let's go ahead and try to use those on here and see how they come out. All right, I'm going to put one of these daisy spacers. Thank you, Clarissa. Isn't it so cute? Hey, Maria. So let's try it again. I'm going to put a little daisy spacer because these he should beads, the hole is too big sometimes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do these mint color ones. So let's do three of these because they're thicker than that other one. You see? Hey, Bonnie. Everything looks the same? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and paint our stripes. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but I just think that it's cute, especially if you use the gold marker or a pink marker posca pens work the best they're the best paint pens in my opinion 
So I'm just going to swipe it across like so. Hey, Tara. All right. And then I'm going to add my bubble gum bead. Uh, let's go for a different color. Do I have a different color one? Mm, I know I have a different color one. This is a lighter pink. Just like that. And then add your little cherry on top. What's everyone up to? What have you guys been doing? Have you guys been crafting today? So this little pink one is from that little, the little Walmart ones that come in the little case. Do you have the flowers, he, she beads? No, I've never seen flower, he, she beads. Where have you seen those, Maria? And then I'm just going to close it off, okay? So this one is uh one with a head pin, so you won't be able to hang anything under it. Poochie, make sure you watch my video on the 28th. I'm making cute stuff. Okay, girl. Send me the link. Remind me, and I will be there. So, you don't have to wire wrap it if you don't want to. I'm actually going to clip this one. I don't want to wire wrap this one. This is a shorter pin. And I'm just going to roll it over and tuck it in. Just roll it on itself. And I want to make sure that it goes in there and it's secured. Secure the bag, guys. Get in there, man. Here we go. Okay. Let me make sure I adjust this. Got everything straight. And there goes your little cupcake. So you can kind of see the difference between... This is a 7 millimeter, and this is a 4 millimeter. So it looks way better with the, the bigger Hishi beads. From Allie? Auntie Allie? What? No, I've never seen those, girl. So that's the tutorial, guys. I wanted to share with you guys this. I was playing again. Once again, I was playing with my stuff. And um, I had made a bead, and it looked like a cupcake. I was like, ooh, let me try it with my Hishi beads. You like the first one better? Yeah, the first one looks way better. But you can also use these rondelle ones that are cut like this. You can use those. Um, I have these beads here. I'm dropping shit. I have these. Let's see how this one looks. Let's just try it out. But the bubblegum beads look the best. Okay. Hold on, guys. Because I busted out some beads so we could play with them. So there's different size. You guys just know there's different size bubblegum beads. We'll try different sizes. Because I know not all of us have the Hishi beads. Just notice you're on StreamYard. Looks great. You think so, girl? It feels so weird. I might go live on IG. I'll be doing your challenge. Yay! When are you going to go? I definitely need to get into beads. Yes, Clarissa, they're so fun. Yeah, hopefully it won't cut me off. I've been having such bad luck with YouTube. I, I honestly, guys, I was like, you know what? I'm done with YouTube. I'm just going to go on Instagram Live. I'm not going on YouTube anymore. But I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm the only one going through this stuff. So here goes that base part. Let's just see how it looks. We'll try this one. No, it's too much of the same size. But those colors don't look good together. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what else I have. So most of us have been spending a lot of money on these beads. It's time to use those beads up that we've been buying. And I think this would be cute on a, a charm. You can hang this to your projects. You can do all kinds of things with these. Maybe I'm going to have to do a pink one. This one's too big. 
Okay, there's that one. Hopefully tonight, not sure I'll let you know. Okay. My IG is Bucci underscore tats mama. It does look like 4K Gabby. Tara, I'm not I'm not into beats. Well, those things. You sure you want to go down that rabbit hole, Clarissa? It looks 4K. Oh, finally, because you know, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. Tara, I'm not into beads, so clear. I'm seeing all these talented ladies making bead charms, and I want to try. Hi, Anna. Hi, sis. Hi, Angel. Hey, everyone. Yes, girl, but just be careful. They're right about the rabbit hole. You will be going down a rabbit hole with... This one's just... I don't know. The color is off to me. The color is so off to me. We'll try this one. This one's fine. So this is the Rondell B right here, guys. Okay. You see how it's cut? Don't look at my nails. They're all jacked. The cupcake dangle is too cute. Thank you, girl. So let's do this one. This one looks like a nice balance. You just kind of play it by eye. Play with your beads. Okay. Thank you, uh, Maria. And then let's top it off with our little cherry bead. So you can do a little red bead. I like the hot pink. Mm, these colors are bothering me. I really like the look of the Hishi beads. But you guys see you can do um, the rondelles as well. Okay, let's layer four of these. One more. Well, actually three. Because these are thicker than the seven ones. But guys, these Hishi beads, they come in different millimeters, okay? The ones from Michaels, they're a really small millimeter. I think they're four millimeters or five. The one that I like the best is this one that's a seven. And it's a solid pink one. It's the only one that I have. And it looks perfect with these. I think these are 12 millimeter bubblegum beads. So I'm going to go ahead and do my stripes using my paint pen. What's going on, guys? What have you been doing? I've been doing a little crafting, but I want to get this video out for you guys. So I'm just painting stripes. All right, so you don't got to spend your money on those fancy he should be to have those different colors. You can create them yourself. Okay, and you will get paint on you and your fingers. Just be warned. All right, let's go ahead and add our bubblegum bead. But yeah, I think the seven millimeter uh, Hishi beads look the best. And I'll be sure to link uh, where I got those Hishi beads. I'm going to try to remember. Somebody please remind me. Um, I'll link it. It's an Etsy store and they sell them for $2 for a strand. And you get a ton on that one strand. Okay, we're going to roll this over. I'm going to cut this one because it's too short for me. I couldn't find any at Michael's. Lexi found a necklace at Target for $5. You best believe I <laughs> ripped that necklace and used. Yes, girl. Gotta do what you gotta do. Um, I saw that they had some at Michael's as well and Hobby Lobby, guys. They do have them there. I'm just not sure what the millimeter is. I'm gonna link that Etsy shop, but guys, beware. I'm telling you, like when I ordered from that seller. I spent a lot of money on beads, so just get your stuff and get out. Don't go looking around if you don't want to go down that rabbit hole. So there goes that one. Okay. I don't know. I really like these right here. I think these look the best. They're so cute. Hi, Cruz. Welcome back. Amazon has them too. That's funny. I don't blame you. 
Right, two hundred dollars later, guys, you will legit spend sixty dollars in these little bead things if you go through all the listings. The way that I am, like guys on Etsy, is terrible because on Etsy, if I go purchase one thing and they charge me five dollars for shipping, I'm like, oh hell no, I'm not about to pay five dollars shipping for one item. I'm gonna see what else they have. I do that to myself every time. So let me go ahead and make the stripes a different color. Uh, what other color pens do I have? I always do this to myself. I go looking for things that I know I'm not going to be able to find. You could probably even use a Sharpie. Nice. You could probably use a Sharpie as well. I think those will work well. I can't find my markers, guys. I'm not going to dig through my stuff right now. I don't feel like it. We're just going to leave it like that. Um, Let's see. Let's see if I could do some short ones and one of these bigger ones. See how it looks. What the hell is that? See, like, they have these at that seller. And look, they're different colors. They're beautiful. Ah, uh, Gabby. Let's just see how this looks. I don't know. It looks okay. Let's add our cherry on top. That one's kind of cute. This would be cute for like a birthday theme. But yes, I was playing with um a dango. I was making wire wrapping beads for a dango. And one of them looked like a cupcake. I'm like, ooh, I gotta try this with my Heishi beads. And it legit looked like a cupcake to me. So I couldn't wait to share this with you guys. So here's that one. Trying to line everything up. So this would be super cute. Hi, Amy. Welcome. All Dollar Bead has Hishi beads now. What? I just ordered a bunch. Guys, so check out Dollar Bead. Tara told me about Dollar Bead a couple of times, and I'm like, nope, nope, nope. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. My mom has free Amazon I can use, but I don't want her seeing what I buy. I spend 25 Ally is worse because every time I add to the cart, girl, let me tell you guys, whenever I log into AliExpress, my cart right now is over. I have 100 items already. I have to always delete something. And I, I haven't bought from Ally in forever, but my cart is always full and so is um, Etsy. The other day I had 86 things in my cart. You better look, girl. Yes, my AliExpress told me I can't add any more stuff. I exhausted. Yes, girl. Same. I don't want to look at Dollar B, girl. Oh, I don't even want to buy no more beads. And I always um, get suckered and find some kind of beads. So there's that one. I like that bubblegum one. That's cute. So mainly use your bubblegum beads. Let's do a blue one. I'm just going to make a bunch of cupcakes. Let's see how this one will look together. Maybe it might look cute. I really want to try this bead. It's a rondelle. Okay. Um, I think I bought this one at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. One of those. I got glue stuff everywhere. What does Tara say? I do that all the time. Got to go back and delete. Yes. Poochie, you have lots of stuff you need to shop your stash. I do. I didn't say I didn't need any more, girl. Hobby Lobby has cute spring beads for $1.49. Nope, not going to look. Nope, nope, nope. Don't tell me that. All right, let's try this bead right here. This is the rondelle that's cut. Let's do the blue. And then let's do the cherry on top. I 
that's cute. I think it looks like a cupcake. You guys got to tell me what you think. Let me snip a little bit off. And then let's just roll it over on itself. And tuck it in the hole. Just like that. So there's that one. I think it's cute. You know, if someone's a blue lover, they will love this probably. Hey, Carol. I don't need much enabling. <laughs> Yay, blue. We don't need that type of negativity. Exactly. Bonnie, don't be the roast to voice the voice of reason. You ladies are lucky I can't buy nothing. Hobby Lobby has cute spring beats for one forty nine. Yes, they do. Now I want a cupcake. They're so adorable, guys. You gotta try this. And ten minutes, I'm ten minutes away from a Hobby Lobby. Oh hell no! And I'll be good, girl. So I want to make a bunch of these. They're just so fun to make. And I know I have like other. I try to keep most of the beads that I play with in here, like in these little containers. For when I'm like making dangles and stuff. But I do have like a lot of different options in my beads. I need it's just a lot to pull out because I organize mine by color. And you know, sometimes we want to mix the colors up. Like I like to mix the colors. So I need to find a better way to access my beads because it's just kind of a pain to go through all the boxes. I'm 30 minutes away. That's a good thing for me. I'm 30, 40 minutes, and that does not stop me, guys. I'm terrible. You guys know I'm terrible. It does not stop me none. All right, so let's just use this rondelle and do it with this color one. So the possibilities are endless in the colors because you guys already know that they have tons of colors with these hishi beads. I mean, this um, bubblegum beads. That's a little purple cherry. I'm going to go with it. Does one really need all those tools for beads? Yes. Clarissa, yes. You need these are the three main tools that you need, Mama. You need this round nose plier because it's what's going to create your loop. This is uh it helps with so much. You can bend it back. You need two tools to do the, the thing. And then you also need these wire cutters. You need these because sometimes it's too long. Okay, and you want to clip the excess. So, yes, you need all three of these tools. They're a great investment. There's actually other tools out there, I think. But these are the main ones that you need. Especially for wire wrapping. Yes, 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 yes. You can find them for cheap everywhere. I know Hobby Lobby has some. I just saw that they had some the last time that I went. But definitely, you need those three tools. It just makes your life easier. Okay, there goes that one. This one's a loosey-goosey. Hold on. This is why you probably got a wire wrap. We don't want no loosey-goosies. Let me do this one all the way flat. And then roll it over. Damn it. Keeps coming loose. All right, there goes that one. Really pretty and colorful. That looks just like a cupcake. You're welcome, Mama. I'm trying to cut myself off to laugh a lot. I ordered so many from Joann's and they had the 70%. Joann's had some great deals this year, last year, this year, last year, both. Not too much to cho choice from here in the Ozarks. Two minutes away. Yeah, I'm only semi-professional. I'm 25 minutes away, and I like to keep it that way. <laughs> I take that drive, guys. I love taking my drive to Tuesday morning. My hubby already knows. He used to argue with me at first, and now he knows. Don't even argue with me, homie, because that's my little time to get the hell away from him and the kids. And I enjoy my little breaks. So I will take that drive. I will take an hour and a half drive if I had to. I'm 25 minutes away. I like to keep it that way. Three main tools. Yes. So you're going to need the flat nose pliers. This is what they look like, mama. Okay. They're flats on the top. 
and they're flats here, okay? The round nose ones, they have the rounded noses, the nose, noses, jeez. And then these are the wire cutters, okay? They're really sharp. You need those three. Let me see what you guys are saying. Just bills. Hi, Lala. The driving part is my meditation. Yes, I love it. I blast my music and I go to town. Like, I love it. Let me see how this one looks with the colorful one. Did we try that one yet? I don't know, but we're going to try it now. What is this on my bead? I don't know if we've tried this one yet. Kind of a lot of the same size, but we're going to go with it. Because I want to give you guys options. And let's use this seed bead. No. I don't look right. Let me find my hot pink one. I have this little glitter one. Come here. Let's use this glitter one. I don't like that base. I don't know why. I just, I don't like it. I don't like that base. Hi, Elaine. What's going on, girl? I'm just trying to use what I have right here in front of me. Because I am not about to go looking for no beads. My room is such a wreck right now. I can't even, I could hardly walk in it. It's like a, a fucking um, obstacle course in this shit. It's terrible. Let me see. Let's go back to this one. I mean, we could. As you mean by trying one of these? Let's see how it looks. I really like the bubblegum bees, though. Let's see. Don't fall in there. I like the bubblegum beads. Yeah, it don't look right. I don't like it. Let's do another blue one. Nothing much cleaning my craft room. Must be nice, Elaine. That's what the hell I need to be doing. But I have a choice to either craft or clean. And nine times out of ten, I'm a craft. I know they're sleeping, girl. Shh. Don't speak them up. Okay, there's that. And let's do... So, I don't know. I really like how um, it looks with the pink on top. So cute. So, I think the bubblegum beads look best, in my opinion. You guys can try different beads. But I like the bubblegum beads. Okay, so I'm gonna clip some of this. Let's try to wrap some of it, I guess. Did you guys enjoy your Sunday? Did you have a nice Sunday? My husband went back to work. He was on vacation for a whole week. And as soon as he walked out out the door, all hell broke loose. <laughs> I was like, no, come back. Save me from the kids. So now I got to get my kids adjusted back to normal. Because when daddy's home, it's not enough to wrap. When daddy's home, like the kids get away with murder. Nothing gets done. So I got to get them back on track. Elijah was up to like, what, four in the morning the other day? Three in the morning? Okay, so there goes that one. I need to do laundry. It was like those, um, those reels I was sharing today when the music changes. That's how it was when my husband walked out. All right, let me redo this one. Pull it to the side and roll it over.
They really enjoyed their daddy, though. It was nice. I thought I was going to get so much done with him being home. I didn't get shit done. I barely got to do any crafting. Look at how cute. The blue one is so cute. Let me see what other colors I got in here. You can even use the berry beads, guys. I think the berry beads will look really cute. I need to do laundry. I got my second tattoo today. Nice. What did you get? My kids are on spring break this week. My mom calls a five-bedroom, two-bath yacht a boat. <laughs> yes, the blue is really cute. I like the colorful one, too. All right, let's try to do this big old jumbo one. So I have a bunch of different kinds. I think these berry beads will look really cute, too. We can try to do those. How cute would these look for Halloween? Oh my God, I got to make Halloween cupcakes. With a black cherry on top and some black heishi beads. I think that would be so cute. Sorry, you guys know I'm a Halloween girl. All right, let's try this big old, this big old one. Let me get my, these for that. That's nice he had time off with you guys. He does work hard. Hey, Sandra. All right, so let me add my daisy spacer on the bottom. So I don't think my bee will fall through with this one, though. Um, let's see which one looks good with this. This one might look okay. I don't know. Hmm. Sandra, we're just making some cupcake bee dangles. Let's go with this color. I kind of like this color. All right. So these, I think I bought these at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something. I don't do much Halloween unless in pastels. You have to join the Halloween train, girl. Halloween is everything. Halloween crafting is everything. Let's try one of these bigger beads for the cherry. Nah, I don't like that one. So just play with your stash. I know you guys got a big stash too. Don't play with me. I know I've been seeing y'all. I've been seeing you guys, you guys' hauls and all that. Hi, little Missy. How long size are those pins? So Missy, these right here, I'm not sure. They're smaller. They are smaller um head pin. And then these, I think, are standard. Uh, it looks like it might be one and a half inch long. One and a half inches long. They're not very long. Yeah, I already know you guys have been buying beads, so don't even try to... Look at the little tiny cherry. I think that's too little. Let me see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So just play with your beads. Try different color combinations. Oh my God, I think that the Halloween cupcake will look so adorable. I need to make those. I don't think this one's going to look right, but we'll try it. Yeah, no. I'm working on the Halloween embellishment book. Yay! I want to see that, girl. I can't wait to... um. Let me try a heart. Let's see how that looks. I just want to experiment with my bees with you guys. I'll try a red and a pink. I'm so sad I didn't buy more of these from Hobby Lobby. They were in the kids, like little kids bracelets. And they have like this iridescent. They're so cute. I'm so sad I didn't get more of those. All right, let's see how this heart looks as a cherry. No, too big. Yeah, it's way too big. 
Bye, Anna. Thanks for stopping in. Right. <laughs> what did Bonnie say she's going to go? I have not been buying beads. Only Bonnie's the only one who hasn't been jumping on these trains. Everybody else is like, choo-choo. a little ash cherry I don't know guys I'm not liking this one hmm. all right let's grab that let me see if I can make a cone what if we made a cone will this look like a cone let's try it let's try to make an ice cream cone no it looks like a flower vase though doesn't that look like a flower vase can always make paper beads. Lord knows we all have plenty of paper. Yes. But Bonnie, I promise that if you did try it, this looks like a, a flower bouquet, doesn't it? Isn't that cute? Hmm. Okay, that's a no. Let me see. Let me focus. I forgot what the hell I was doing. Oh, we're trying to make a cap for this bead. Um, where's that color I was using? The hell did I do with it? There it goes. I can't see that, and I'm not crafting beads with a magnifying glass. You can't see what? It did look like a flower vase, didn't it? I really, I need to really make a bunch of these because when I'm doing a project, I make them at that point. Yes. Can always make paper beads. I can't see that. Okay, I read that. It looked like a flower vase. I have never made paper beads. I need those mint beads, Gucci. I don't have anything in that color. Okay, Tara. Mm, these are not looking right. I need to find the perfect cherry on top. Damn it. I know this one's probably not going to work either. No. All right, we're scrapping this one. You guys play with your bees. Maybe you can get a nice combination with that one. But I'm not feeling it. Okay, I have a square one that's a crystal. Let's see if we can get this one to look like a cupcake. Hi, Sonia. Just stopping by real quick. Why don't you use the bead tray from Dollar Traw? The bead tray. Oh, yeah, girl. I know, right? I haven't even used that yet. I don't know if these will fit in that tray. It's a big ass. Let me see. All right, we'll try this one. Let's see. Hi, Denise. I know, girl. I'm using StreamYard. I was legit going to stop doing videos on YouTube. Thanks to Louisa. She had me on live, and then she said it sounded great on through StreamYard, so that's what I'm doing. I don't like the crystal, guys, but that could be an option for you if you like it. I like that big ass big. Are right, using a magnifying glass to thread my sewing needle. My bee boxes are so heavy. Yeah, I need to make mine. I need to like go through my beads and put more like refill, replenish these. I have to find a better way to. Uh... Let's go back to the Hishi beads, guys. I'm going to use these gold ones. They're tiny, though. Hmm. I need a daisy spacer on the bottom. Wait, no, I don't. Hi, Sam. Okay, it's not going to go through. So, again, these the wider heishi beads work the best. I like to personally get the 12 millimeter bubble gum beads 
and that's this size. I think this is uh 12 millimeters, and then this is I think 22, and this one might be a 20. So you guys can kind of see the size. I'm so terrible with measurements when it comes to those beads. Let's do another blue one. Nope, I didn't take it out. Let's do another color one. So cute, guys. How adorable is that? So this one I could wire wrap because I have a lot of wire here. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of get it going with my finger. And then I'm gonna use my, this is why you need both, Clarissa. I'm gonna use my flat nose to continue to wrap. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it as much as I can. And this is why we need these tools here. Cause I'm gonna clip off the excess. Right, she like, Tata likes her big ass is big. Angel's just as terrible as me. It's so funny. Okay. That was terrible wrapping. But there goes a little cupcake. I think these are be perfect for... Look at that. They're coming out. Damn it. They're cutting through, you bastard. This one's a fail. That's a fail. All right, Sonia. It does kind of look like a gumball machine, Little Misty. All right, I'm going to put my, my daisy spacers. I love my daisy spacers. feels so weird not using these. Um, here, we have this red and white one. So let's use these red and white Hishi beads that I have. I bought these especially for Hey Santa, the, the Hey Santa collection. And I thought that they would come in handy for Valentine's Day. Add your bubblegum bead. And let's do a little cherry on top. Frank Garcia, you better leave me alone. Frank Garcia just sent me an email saying that my stuff is waiting in my cart. You could always use a sequin at the bottom. Yes. But you know I like that little pop of gold. I got the tools. Nothing to make those with, though. Really? Bonnie's not trying to get in that uh, beat train. Might as well hand them tools over, Bonnie. I haven't wire wrapped in so long. Oh, shit, I'm going the wrong way. All the professional wire wrappers are cringing right now. I'm gonna cut the rest. It look like a little hand. Um, ask Frank if he's gonna send it to you for free. Right, <laughs> Tara? Are you getting the new? Yes, she is gonna have it. Bonnie, how you have tools and no beads? Bunny's crazy. 
Just talk, get on the B train, Bonnie. It's so fun. No, but seriously, guys, I was not into beads. And um, Evelyn, uh, Bee Craft Chick, who's Bee Craft Chick, she sent me some beads for my design team package. And I was forced to play with them, and I fell in love with them after that. And the, these are just super fun to add on to projects. They look really, they're just really fun. All right, let's make one more, and then that's it, guys. I kind of want to hop on here and do another live, but do a separate video. So let me know if you guys want to um, craft with me. Do another live. We'll do those hishi beads. All right, so let's get... Let me use my eye pens because that's a bigger bead. But again, I think... Hi, Precious. Welcome. I'm fairly new. What are these going to go on? Tassels? Um, They will look good on anything. Um, If you did a memory dex card, you can have it hanging off one of your elements. You can hang this on your tassels. Uh... This is going to be the live that I'm going to do with you guys. So we're going to make mini memory decks cards. This is the one that I was working on. And you see you can hang the charms, like just dangle it off your projects. You can like uh, make a hole here and have it dangle here. They just look really cute on your projects. Okay, let me see. I got my eye pin. So you really can just hang it on anything. You can make earrings out of them. I think that would look so cute. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a pair of earrings. Let's scratch this one. Let's do a pair of earrings. I got to make them identical. Um, which one do you guys think will look the best for earrings? I think this combination will look nice. What do you guys think? Where did you get the mini memory decks? I made it, girl. I want to do another live after this and make one with you guys and show you how I made it. I do have a tutorial here on my channel. It's an older video, but I want to do an updated version. All right, I'm going to follow this one, the mint. Okay. So let's do the, I want to make it exactly the same as this one. They have to be twins and not sisters. Okay, so I'm going to layer on my mint hishi beads. I did three. Hey, Mel. No, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Melissa, you've been here, haven't you? The more natural colors, they'll go with more. Thank you, Precious. So use your paint markers, guys. You guys can stripe these. If you got sausage fingers, it'll probably get on you. On your fingers. But it don't matter. All right, that's cool. How are you, Melissa? Oh man, I'm using the wrong bottom. Let me take this off. I have to use, you gotta make it exactly the same. I used the head pin on this one. Okay, so let's go ahead. And add that. Do our three. So yeah, the possibilities are endless when you do these little uh, beaded dangles and charms. They look good on tassels, anything. Okay, and then we use that. So lighter pink bubblegum bead. I'm in Chicago, Precious. Everyone's from everywhere. We have people from Cali in the house. 
Now go ahead and rep your 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 states for precious. And I gotta add the exact same color. Yes. Okay, we gotta make these twins and not sisters. All right, and let's go ahead and close this off. I'm gonna nip some off because I'm just gonna do a simple, like little tuck. Okay, turn this at an angle and then roll it back on itself. All these Cali people in the house. Where are you, precious? Alrighty. So there it goes. Now I have some little earring things that my friend Elena got for me. She was so nice to go shopping for me. She went to some kind of dollar store. So I'm going to grab two of those. Nice, Missy. You're in Chicago? Okay, and then I'm going to attach this with uh, some jump rings. Let me make sure they're both the same size. Yeah. Actually, should I do some chain? I think I might do some chain. So they could hang a little lower. No, I'll leave it. German town. Ooh, I grabbed the wrong tools. Everybody's repping their uh their hood. No gang banging in the chats, Sandra. So let's attach these. Let me secure this. Guys, they sell these little earring things also at Hobby Lobby, okay? So look, there goes a cute little pair of... I don't like the ring. I think I want to put like a little chain. Sandra's game banging in the... uh. In the chat. <laughs> Let me find my chain. You guys are crazy. Oh, uh, here it goes. Oh, shit. I think I done started some shit, guys. I'm going to have to make all kinds of earrings now. Me too. Is Angel throwing up gang signs? Scrapping Craft Queen is Elaine. All right, I'm going to do three of these rings. This is from BB Craft, guys. If you guys shop BB Craft, use my code Poochie5. And you'll get five off of $40. They have some great stuff. I have a playlist of things from bb craft they're awesome and i just placed another order so i'm going to be having a bb craft video for you guys whenever it comes these are my favorite chains um i bought some from michael's they're thick as hell i really like these thinner ones for certain projects for most of my projects okay so there goes three and then let me attach it to The earring hook. Those will look cute on a bracelet like charm bracelet. Yes, it will look cute on a bracelet, girl. I need to find out more about jewelry making. I have the beats to do it. I know my sis Teresa is not game banging in the chat.
Look at how cute, guys. How adorable is that? Hmm. Okay, let's do the other one. We got to make them twins and not sisters. I think this one would have looked cute if the jump ring wasn't so big. It's a no for me. All right, let's get rid of this jump ring. And I'm going to do three of these. Thank you, Tara. Thank you, Veronica. You make jewelry precious? Are you cringing at my um my earring making right now? <laughs> like, what the hell is she doing? All right, let's go ahead and close this. Thank you for the thumbs up. Come on, man. All right, let me close this. Clarissa, are you still there, mama? I know, girl. I got to get some four millimeter jump rings. Does the chain look bad, guys? Looks like an ice cream. It's supposed to be a cupcake. There goes our pair of earrings. Look at how cute, guys. Would you guys rock those earrings? So cute. All right. Let's do those there. Let's see what else. But, um... Yeah, you can do a tassel and attach these. Let's turn one of these into a tassel. I really don't want to make a tassel. <laughs> uh... Yes, they are so cute. Thank you, guys. I really want to get off this live, and I want to make those memory decks with you guys while the kids are sleeping and the hubby's not bothering me. All right, let's just do a quick one. So I'm going to use my crochet thread. Thank you. I'm using pink and white. Probably can't tell. Thank you so much, Elaine. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Bonnie. You guys are the sweetest. All right, this is all tangled, so that's as far as we're going to go with this. I have a haul to do with you guys. Hopefully, I'll get it done tomorrow. I want to show you guys some more trim that I found at Hobby Lobby this weekend. Thank you so much, Elaine. Thank you, guys. I'm definitely going to give one of these to Carmen. I'm going to have to make this for Carmen. So there goes our thread. I'm going to go ahead and feed in a jump ring. And this is just the way I do my tassels. There's plenty of tutorials out there. You guys can use yarn. I have plenty of tutorials as well. But I really like this jump ring. The jump ring ones because I don't like being bothered with threading beads on here sometimes. All 
right, so secure it. Oh, damn. I really secured it. And then take your other string. Tie the top of your tassel. A mess everywhere. It's a beautiful bead mess. Balls galore. I got rosettes everywhere. Let me try to straighten up a little bit. Okay. So cute. Alright, so let's go ahead and tie this. How's this one going for me? Wants to see you make it. Well, Lala. So I'm just going to wrap these. Wrap these ends and glue them down. Me, Gabby, I haven't even opened my sewing machine yet still. I bought me a brother's sewing machine and I'm still, I'm scared to open it. I don't want to break it. I need to get my craft room together a little more. I'm running out of space to put things. So I need to clean my room. Tomorrow I'm going to try to focus on that. Hopefully I can get that done. So I'm just going to glue this down. I also like to use that really thin washi tape for this sometimes. Okay. And now we're going to separate these. What supplies is needed for the mini memory decks card? Um, there's different options, but we're just going to use paper and a punch. Uh, the hole puncher. After this, I'll go live and we'll make the memory decks, guys. Uh, type in the chat. I'm in if you guys are down to see that after this. I can't believe I've been out here for an hour. Does not feel like it. All right, so there goes my tassel. Let me glue this because I don't want that to fall on me. Are you near Oak Park? I have a thrifting sister that lives there. No, girl, I'm on the east side. I'm near Hammond, Indiana. But I'm in Chicago. Okay, so there goes our tassel. Let me kind of fix these hairs, strings. Here we go. All right. There goes our tassel. Got a little straggler. I'm in, I'm in. Okay, I got three people so far. I know these videos can be really long sometimes. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, we'll do that next. I promise. All right. Let me grab an eye pin. And let's go ahead and attach it. Well, actually, we're going to attach our cupcake. This one here. I want a bright color one. Did I make one? No, most of them are... All right, let's go ahead and close this. I got a brother too, Poochie. Look for videos for your machine on how it works. I I did, and I've been sewing 25 years. Bonnie, send me some links of some good ones, if you can. Pretty please. Look at how cute that cupcake is. You were born in Hammond? I didn't know that, Bonnie. I don't remember you saying that. All right, let's go ahead and make a little dangle for here. I 
I don't want to take too much time doing this. Let me see. I like the way you do yours. I've seen ladies string beads. Yeah, it's just hard for me to... um. It's easier to string the... Well, it's not easier for me. But I think that that's an advantage when you string the beads. Because you can put as many... You're not limited to the beads that you put on there, you know? But I kind of like this. The way I do it like this. Alright. Let's... I'm just like I feel like I'm missing beads. Hey Cassie, what's going on, girl? Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Angel. Not everything, girl. I wish I was good at everything. But whatever I'm not good at, I do try to be better at. All right, let's do a smaller. I told you guys I like to like balance. I like the balance of the size of the beads. Let's do this little light pink one. I know, girl. I was getting ready to give up on the YouTube. Shout out to Louisa for having me live on her uh, stream yard because I was about to be like, forget YouTube and let's bring the party to Instagram. Let's do one more bead. Let's do a heart one. What did I do with that pink heart? If I was Poochie, where would I throw that pink heart? Ain't no damn telling where I would throw that. Here it goes. Found it. All right. That's cute. She cute, she cute, she cute. So let me go ahead and close this off. Let me add a little bead there. Hi, Tammy. Been missing you, girl. So I'm going to actually... I think this is too, too big. Let's see. Guys, this is the last thing that I'm making. And I'm going to jump off and do another video. We're going to make some mini memory decks cards. Yeah, no, this is not gonna work. Let's take this beat out. Yes, mini memory decks cards. I do have a tutorial on my channel, but I want to do an updated version for you guys. So I'm just gonna tuck that in really well. Just like that, okay? And we're going to go ahead and attach these. So, guys, if you're just joining, I was just showing everyone how to make these little mini cupcake dangles, charms, whatever. They kind of, This one kind of does look like a gumball machine. I forgot who said that, but it does. And let's go ahead and attach this with a jump ring. Let me add a lobster claps and we're done. We're done, son. Now we got to add something to the bottom of this tassel I'm lying. Okay, let me get my lobster claps. Guys, I love, 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 love these little containers. I've been putting all my stuff here. Ooh, you can do it, Cassie. At least you're giving yourself a budget. Okay, let me add this. 
jump ring to my dangle and then let me close it but we gotta hook this up because it's looking too plain for me too plain for your girl so i really like to add because some of you guys saw this on my bb craft video i like to add a jump ring And a little bit of chain. These containers I found at Michael's. You guys can find these at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think someone said they have them at Walmart as well. You'll probably be able to find them anywhere where they have like a little jewelry section. Okay. So let me add. This is what I've been liking to do, guys. Emily, I'm using StreamYard. It's not fixed. So I've been liking to do a jump ring and clip on a little bit of the chain. My dumbass. I should have um, stuck this part on there, but whatever. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of chain. This BB Craft chain is perfect. It's not too hard to like, you know, take apart. And then I like to dangle a little charm on here. So let's do that. Let me open this part up. Dollar Tree has them? Really? I haven't seen these at Dollar Tree. Um, and then let's go ahead and add this beautiful bow charm from natalie and it's an etsy shop pretty mix studio you guys can buy those from there they're bomb look at how cute that is okay and then i want to add i want to add something right here Look at how pretty. Let me add something here. Bear with me, guys. You still with me? I realize I have so much I don't want or need. I know, girl. I feel like that sometimes, too. Yes, BB Craft. Mm-hmm. All one word. It's B-E-E -E, and then craft b-e-e -E twice and then craft all right let me add a little heart on the front of this oh no i gotta have one somewhere on this desk oh i could do this little bowl too is that too much bows too much bow on bow action i think so what do you guys think what about this bunny thank you so much sandra Too much bow on bow action. I don't know. We got this little bunny. I think that's too much. I want to add something like. Why don't I have any. Um, I need some cupcake cabochons in my life. Or sweets. More sweets cabochons. Bear with me guys. Please let it be in here. Please. Oh, I do have some candy ones. Okay. I'm going to add. 
grab one of these. I want to keep with the theme of the sweet treats. Let's try. Was that with bogus? Let's see. Might be too big. What do you guys think? Happy early birthday, uh, Cassie. I think the heart would look cute too. It's right up the road. Hi, Chiquita. Chiquita bonita. Is that candle too big, guys? I'm spending too much time on this. I don't know where the hell I put those hearts. But I was just playing with the other day. Here they go. Yay! These are from Auntie Ellie. Did you see my straw post? No, I haven't seen it yet, Chiquita. Before I came on here, I was um an hour on the damn, tr uh, what do you call it? I think I want to use the blue. Tara, where'd you go? These hearts are bomb from Allie, guys. I'm going to do the blue. There's a lot of pink going on. I'm all about balance. Hi, Anna. Um, so I was saying I was I was on the reel train. Every time I look at those damn reels on Instagram, a whole hour of my life passes me by. So if you're just joining, we're making these cupcake little beaded charms. You see it, Chiquita? And Anna? And then we just uh, use it to make our tassel. So I really could have just hung the cupcake here instead of here. But we ended up doing this. All right. So that's it for this video, guys. We also did these little earrings with the cupcakes. Super cute. There you go, Tara. Okay. And then here's some different color options so you guys can see. So I'm going to be getting off this live and I'm going to start a new live and we're going to make some mini memory decks cards. So you guys keep a lookout for me. I know sometimes YouTube doesn't want to give notifications, but how cute are these guys? Thank you. All right. So that is it for this um, video, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you thumbs up and like the video for me. And I will see you guys in a few, okay? I'm going to clean all this stuff off and I'm going to start the other life. Bye, guys.